Good day everybody, welcome to a new video tutorial. In this video I show you how to create a light rig in Octane. I'm your instructor Niels and let's begin. This is the geometry we're going to use in today's video. First we have to switch off two bevel deformers to lower the resolution. This is for our real-time feedback. First we create a circle spline. Change the radius to 50 cm and make sure it's aligned to the XC plane. Like this. Now we need to create an area light. As you can see it's way too big, so we have to lower the size X and Y to 25 cm. Then we apply a Align to Spline tag to our light and drag the circle spline in the spline path section. Now it perfectly snaps to our spline. The next step is a controller where our light will be aiming at. You can do this by creating a null object and by renaming it to target. Then right mouse on your light and at the target tag. Drag your null into the target object section. And as you can see the light suddenly starts facing the null target. Let's select these three objects and hit Command or Control N on your keyboard to group them. Rename the null to Light Rig or whatever you want. The last important thing before we go to Octane is to apply a Octane Light Tag to our area light. Okay, now activate your Live Viewer window and place it next to your viewport. Start the render engine and as you can see our area light is still visible. To turn it off we click on our Octane light tag and switch off camera visibility. Our next step is to create a camera. You can do this by clicking here in the Octane viewer or just add a camera and right mouse click and navigate to Octane camera tag. Put the camera all the way to zero and move it a little bit to the back. As a photographer I like to use the focal length of 50 millimeters, but it's up to you of course. Now switch to our newly created camera and select the circle spline. We want to make it spin like this. So, go to frame 0 and set a keyframe at 0 degrees. Then go to frame 40 and set the H parameter to 360 and click on keyframe again. Let's add a little bit more of frames to our scene. As you can see the light spins only once around our object. What we want is a linear and continuous animation. So, go to Window and Timeline F-Curve. Right mouse Frame All or H on your keyboard to see our keyframes. Select our In and Out points and click on Linear or L on your keyboard. We want this line to continue with an offset. So click on Rotation H and navigate to the right side of your screen and change after from Constant to Offset Repeat. The thin black line represents the continuous animation. But as you can see only once. To add more repetitions change the 1 to for example 25. There you go. And if you press play right now, our light keeps spinning without stopping. Now you can do all different kind of things with your rig. You can place it above or underneath your geometry to create stunning light effects. 
Use your creativity and experiment with the tools you have. Let's switch our bevel deformers back on and see the light effect on our high-res geometry. That looks amazing. Now to finish it all off, we add some depth of field to our render. Click on your Octane camera tag and under the Thin Lens tab, you have to switch off Auto Focus. Then set the f-stop to 0.5 to get the maximum amount of blur. Then in the Live Viewer, select the picker and click on the area you want to focus on. The amount of blur is too extreme, so we have to change the f-stop from 0.5 to, let's say, 1. And there you go. In this video we created a Octane Light Rig for you to use, and I hope you liked it. You can download the scene file with the geometry on my Patreon page, and if you're interested in how to build geometry like this, you can check out one of my previous tutorials about using multiple bevel deformers. So make sure you check it out. For my Patreon supporters, I created a light rig with some Espresso extensions to speed up the workflow. You can easily change the speed of the light by just changing the values instead of moving the keyframes. This is a scene without keyframes, only parameters. You can change the size of the rig, the size of the light, and of course the intensity. All of this in one window running through Espresso. It's available for download right now on my Patreon page. Make sure you subscribe for more upcoming videos and thank you for watching and until next time.